Kim and I are about to show you how to pack a backpack for a long trip. Well, about eight days. This is the backpack that we are going to be using. Scott and I both have the same backpack. It's made by eBags and it's called the, I believe, the Weekend Mother Load. And we are going to be gone for longer than a weekend. And at any point, because Scott is just going fierce on his phone right now to try to Google to make sure it's we're calling it the right thing. But we're going to be gone for a week. And this is the second time that we've used these bags. And the first time we went to Thailand last November, I did have several people ask me, um, one, why did you guys, so yes, it is called the Weekend Mother Load. It is, yes it is. Thank you very much. So, uh, why are we only taking backpacks? So, one, I am married to someone that is very much an adventurer. And two, when we plan big trips very far away from home, we kind of like to get our money's worth and not maybe not stay in one specific place. So when we went to Thailand, we hit different spots in Thailand. And when you are going from place to place, sometimes it's not always easy to lug all of your baggage from city to city, depending on the transportation that you're using to get from place to place. So we're going to go to Italy this time and we're going to be going to different locations in Italy and because we're going to be taking a plane, a train, and an automobile, um, it's going to be better for us to go ahead and be extra mobile with these backpacks and I think I'm going to pack a little bit smarter than we did uh, when we went to Thailand because this time I did buy some handy dandy little packing cubes so we'll see if uh, if it works a little bit better for me this time because the weather is going to be a little bit warmer So I feel like I'm packing a little bit more than I did But I'm going to give you just kind of a rundown of what I'm packing And then I'll show you once it's packed and once it's in the bag and you can see what it looks like But a quick little rundown of the bag. It's really cool. There's a spot in the front for you to put your travel documents I'm not going to give you a real big sell on the bag because you can go to their website and they have a video They can sell it themselves there's a neat little spot here for you to put some of your other travel sundries. I already have a pen, I have some tissues, and I have some gingins. Um, they're really good for you when you travel if you have any type of motion sickness. So I also will throw a few other things in here. If you do not travel with a space saver bag, it's one of my favorite things. I don't like my dirty clothes to touch my clean clothes, so these are a must. You put your dirty clothes in the space saver bag and it's like they're in their own little dirty clothes island. So it's perfect. I'll throw that in here. I have some colored pencils to go with a coloring book that one of my girlfriends gave me. Here's some of my little technical gadgets. So like my chargers and things like that. And here's a wrist wallet that I thought was really cool because you can wear it around your wrist and put your money in there. We used one in Thailand. It was really awesome. I'm not sure if my husband kept the one that we had before or that he knows where it is. So for $6, I went ahead and I bought another one. When he shows you how he packs, maybe he'll have it, maybe he won't. But because I am who I am, I bought another one. It's worth $6. Um, throw my curl and iron over too, just to get it off the bit. So, now on to the nitty gritty of the backpack. What I really liked about it was that it opens and it functions more like a suitcase. So, you can see that you have items that you can store in here, just like you would on a suitcase. And you have a little separation device here and two uh, compartments here that you can tack down with the straps um, and tighten them to keep them from shifting. So when I use the packing cubes, I'll be able to keep them nice and tight to keep the items from shifting when I'm wearing it on my back. And when it's packed, I'll kind of show you. I'm only five foot, so it can seem like it's overwhelming on me, but I promise it is fairly comfortable as long as I don't 
over pack it. That seems to be my problem. That was a big problem for me when we went to Thailand because I like to overpack. I, my name is Kim and I am an overpacker. It is what it is. I like to make sure that I have everything that I'm going to possibly need on the trip. I don't want to have to say, hey, let's go down to the corner store and see if they have an XYZ because I'm already going to have it. That's how I prefer to roll. So it is what it is. I have nine t-shirts. I have two pairs of shorts. I have two pairs of blue jeans, a pair of white denim. I have two pairs of leggings, two uh, cotton sun, not, not really sundresses, they're long sleeve because the weather's going to be probably lows in the 60s, highs in the mid 70s, and I'm fairly cold natured. And a infinity scarf, you can see that I kind of stuck with like the gray and black and denim and maybe with a little bit of white color theme so that I don't have to bring a bunch of shoes. So from the shoes, I went with my handy dandy red chucks and just a pair of black flip flops. So I'll roll all of this good stuff in to the suitcase and show you what it looks like after. Bink. And there you have it. With very little to no effort, I am like pretty much packed and ready to go. Um, I did take out one of the, uh, it's like a sweat shirt material dress that I was going to wear and I decided against it. Um, but I traded it out for something else. So, uh, everything is in one of these three packing cubes. The chucks I'm going to wear on the airplane with a pair of leggings and a shirt. I ordered a light jacket that will be here from Amazon hopefully tomorrow before we leave on Friday. I did pack underwear, I packed socks, I packed a swimsuit, a pair of workout shorts and a couple of t-shirts and the flip-flops are here as well. All of my toiletry items are gonna go in one of these containers and they're all gonna just kind of sit on top of what I have here already in the backpack and then it will be closed, zipped, and ready to go. I'm really excited. The toiletry items, like I said before, I am an over packer. I do pack everything. I have more than one type of painkiller. I have probably more than one flavor of toothpaste. I have more than one size of band-aid. I don't like to not have something. I think it's like an innate fear of mine and it's probably unhealthy, but beneficial to anybody that travels with me because you name it and I'm probably going to have it. So all of those items will go in one of my containers that I purchased from the container store. Um, this one's got Benadryl and it has um, antibiotic spray and it has you know, two different types of antacids. It's got vitamin C. It's, I mean, it's got, I mean, it's jam packed. It's got everything in it. I'm also going to have a couple of rain ponchos, even though my jacket that I just bought at Amazon also is a raincoat, but you never know in case I need a double raincoat. Um, these are really neat. It's a water, uh, Evian mist spray. I don't think we're going to need it, but we really used a lot of this in Thailand because it was very hot and very humid. So this was a nice kind of little pick-me-up. Oh, so refreshing. I mean, it really, it's, it feels really good. Um, I've read this uh, on an article about something that you're supposed to take with you on flights and it keeps you very refreshed. So I like to keep that. I'll probably put that in my purse. Speaking of purses, I really, really love um, this reporter bag that I purchased. Um, and it's what I really love about it, one, is that it doesn't have the leather straps. It does have the canvas or the cloth straps, and it fits everything that I need without it being too large. And it's made by Louis Vuitton, who I absolutely love, love, love. And what's even cooler about it is not only does it fit everything that I need, but it also fits my smaller Eva. So when I don't want to carry the larger bag, I just pull Eva out, 
and I can leave this. It's small enough to fit, should be in a hotel safe. And then I take the Eva out, carry it. But when I'm not using Eva, Eva can go right into the reporter. And this is what's gonna go on the airplane under my seat uh, with all my other snacks and our passport and our money and stuff like that. But that's why the Louis Vuitton was on the bag or on the bed. So all of the toiletries will go in all of these things here. And all of these will go accordingly across this when I get them packed and these will get shut. Here's our really cool travel pillow. These I just attach to the side of the backpack and we carry it that way. So enjoy. Now you get to see how, 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 um, sorry, how Scott packs. It's going to be very interesting because Scott will probably pack maybe three pairs of shorts and about five t-shirts for a seven to eight day trip. So, um, in the past, I have gone behind him if I have room in my backpack and I usually will stash another t-shirt or two or, uh, because I know him, I also pack fabric softener. It's my own homemade fabric softener spray that also doubles as poo-pourri so that we can freshen up one of his stinky t-shirts um, because he didn't pack enough of them. So enjoy watching him pack and it will take about all of five minutes um, for him to put six or seven things in a backpack. So enjoy and um, can't wait to get to Italy. Ciao Bella. I'm packing. Do you need some help? No, I got it. What are you packing? Stuff for the trip. Are you packing two t-shirts? No. Three t-shirts? No. Five t-shirts? Baby, just, baby, go away. Baby, let me come in there. No, this is my packing time. Babe, I need to make sure you do it right. But you had your packing time. This is my packing time. Baby, open the door. Mm -mm. Baby, open it. Baby, stop. I will... My suitcase will be packed. I guarantee it. Okay. So, Kim and I are about to show you how to pack a backpack for a long trip. Well, about eight days. We're about to go to Italy. We're going to fly into Rome, take a high-speed train over to Venice. We're staying in Venice for a couple of days, taking an airplane from Venice back down to Naples. From Naples, we're going to take a taxi over to Positano. We're going to stay on the coast in Positano a couple of days. Then we're going to go back up to Rome for a day. And then we're going to fly from there to London where we're going to spend a day. And then from London back home. And we're going to do it all with backpacks. Check it out. Me to pack. I also have the e-bags. Mine comes with uh, a uh, bunch of crap from Chicago that I never got rid of. Don't need that. And it's got a bunch of trash in here that I need to get rid of. Sorry about that. So, so it's got like little things here. I don't know. This is cool because it's, hey, there's my, uh, so there's my passport card. And this actually. It's really, really cool. We had this in Thailand. You zip this, and then you put invaluable stuff in there. Like this. You zip it back up. All of a sudden now, it's a sweatband and a, like a safe. Pretty, fucking, pretty cool. Alright, so that's going in there. I got a bunch of change I don't need. Should have cleaned this out first before making the video. Anyway, this is a pillow. Our, our neck pillows are so cool. Check this pillow out. 
it's soft it's pliable it goes i mean at that that is a nice neck pillow and you saw how small it goes it fits in this really easy so there's that there's that uh baseball cap some socks we need these magazines don't need those um so usually i do like a couple of shirts one long sleeve shirt another t-shirt two there's another one two color shirts in case you want to get fancy and another t-shirt a couple of uh undershirts let's see here one two three four five five pair of shorts because kim always says i never take enough clothes so i'm going to overpack this time what i'm going to do is these are not i don't like these shorts that well those are going to stay in italy these are going to stay in italy these are going to stay in italy these will come home these will probably stay in Italy. The undershirts will stay in Italy. I just throw away after I wear some of the clothes. That way I have enough room in the backpack to bring home souvenirs. So everything folds up pretty nice. Everything's going to fit in here. Underwear is going to fit in here. I need more pair. Uh, let's see. I got these are going to wear on the plane. These, oh my God, these flip flops are amazing. They have bottle openers on the bottom. How cool is that? Space saver bags. And of course, oh, where is it? No, oh, there it is. The laptop. So the laptop slides in here somewhere. It's pretty easy. Where is it back here? Yeah. Here it is. So see this opens up like this. The laptop goes right in there. And boom, in a second, it'll be full. Okay. And those go in there, those go in there. Kim takes the toiletries. I don't know what that was. Put that back in there. So what I do is it has these things on the side. Cinch that down. Since that down. Since that down. Makes it even smaller. This goes, usually I put it on here somewhere. I could just put it in here if I wanted to. that that whoops it's good to go hey please like the video thanks